Good evening and welcome to the final day of Toronto After Dark and the final film for 2014. It is very early in the morning, in fact it is 5.30 in the morning. Yes, it's been a long night. That's not my first glass of water, let's just say. And I'm here to talk about the Babadook. The Babadook is, well, it was supposed to be the scariest film of the festival. And for some it may have been. It is the first film from director Jennifer Kent. Um, it's from the UK. And it stars uh, Daniel Henschel um, as the. I don't know what. We, I guess he's sort of like the friend of the mother in the story. Um, it's got uh, Tiffany Lindell Knight as the. Um, I think she was the played the sister of the mother in the film. No, what did she play? Oh, you know what? She didn't. She played a bit part in the film. I don't even know why I'm talking about her. Um, <laughs> there's uh, Essie Davis, who um, you probably don't know, but she had a role in the Matrix Revolutions. Um, and then there's um, 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 newcomer Noah Wiseman who plays the um, the young boy in the film. Um, other than that, there's there's really nobody in this this film of, of note. Um, like I said, first time uh, feature well film in general from Jennifer. Kent, um, and it's, well, let me tell you what it's about. It's about a single mother raising her, um, how old was he? Nine or ten year old, I don't know, maybe not, maybe six? Six. Six? I think it was six. Um, six year old son. Um, and essentially her husband died taking her to the hospital to give birth to her son. So there's this whole play about the relationship between her and her grieving and her, you know, for her husband and her son and how her son relates to her husband and how he, he remembers and, and deals with things and, and such. Um, so that's part of it. Um... But, what happens is, um, they find, well, it's essentially, you know, like any kid, it's story time before bedtime, and he pulls out the story of Mr. Babadook, which is essentially a kid's story. Um, she didn't know about it, he didn't know about it, but he picked it, it was on his bookshelf. And it's a pop-up book, and it's very, very creepy, but yet very gorgeously stylized um, book, uh, children's novel pop-up that goes on about the Babadook, who, and he gets to the end, and it's like, you know what, essentially, you know what, if you run into the Babadook, you, you can't get rid of him, and he will kill you. <laughs> And of course, being that this is supposed to be a kid's book, you know, didn't quite sit over too well with the mother. Um, the son is very much into thinking about monsters and fighting monsters and protecting his mother. And of course, so this Babadook story just gets into his head and he, it's Babadook from there on out. And so... It is a progression of 
this single mother who um, gets less and less sleep as things get worse and worse for her son who um, can't sleep, is constantly scared, has to sleep with her, um, you know, goes on about the Babadook, and eventually, you know, it, it leads on and leads on to a climax of sorts, um, where you, you, you learn about the Babadook, you, you get the haunting of the Babadook, it's kind of like a haunted house story, and, um, you know, the dealings of the, this, this mother-son, uh, relationship with this, um, newfound creature that has, uh, decided to terrorize them. Um, honestly, there were a lot of people, a lot of people who, who loved the movie, were generally creeped out or scared by it. I was not one of those. I did not find the Babadook particularly creepy nor scary. And that goes f f mostly for the film in general. The creature itself is kind of, eh, it's kind of spooky. Honestly, the creepiest aspect of this film for me was the book. The book that she read, which I could go into more, but essentially the book. Uh, was the creepiest thing about this film. Um, and of course, like any haunting film, there's long, you know, long suspenseful moments, there's moments with no sound or, you know, no music, um, moments with music and such. Um, I did find that the use of silence was well done, um, but the sound engineer, the person who was doing, you know, the scoring and, and dealing with sound, I don't think they quite hit, hit the nail on the head um, with their work in terms of trying to develop that fear. Because they tried several, several, several times throughout the movie. But for me personally, I didn't feel that sense of dread. Um... But this film has cleaned up at Cannes, Con, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's cleaned up at all the festivals it's played since that point. We had two, not just one, but two sellout screenings tonight um, for it. And like I said, a lot of people I talked to afterwards really, really liked it, really freaked out by it. Um, and, you know, what? It, 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 such as life I did eventually find some people who were in the same boat as me who watched the film and were like yeah there were some creepy moments um, but the film in general was just you know it, it wasn't scary and I think the film needed to be scary um, to be effective uh, for what it's being marketed as um, it is a horror film but what I mostly connected with um, is the drama aspect of the film. It really plays out like a a mother who is having a hard time raising her son. Um, eventually, is getting absolutely no sleep, um, and it's messing with her mind. And her son, who is a very, how would you put it, um, he's, he's a very needy kid, annoying kid, um, he's a very, he's a child who really doesn't get the social aspects of, of everyday living, he doesn't know, he just tells it as it is. Um, he doesn't know what is polite, what isn't polite, what um, is expected, what, you know, like just, he's very much an outsider in that sense. And so, it's one of those things where, he, yeah, it, the film 
in general is very much a drama. It's it's a, a mother who's trying to deal with her problematic child, but it does have a like a, it has a lot of aspects that are horror related. You know, blood, killings, um, uh, dementia, etc. And I will say that both the mother and the son, uh, at, in terms of acting, are. Bingo! Like, they are so good. So good. Um, and if I was looking at this film as a drama, I would love it. I would say it is, it, it is a must watch. Um, it does a great job of portraying a single mother trying to deal with a problematic child and you know everyday life you know working and cleaning etc um and essentially doing it without any sleep because that that is the way you are just end up exhausted um there is no me time every time you think you're gonna get me time boom something happens be it you know your you know your child or children um barge in on you or um something you know be it at the home you never know it like your toilet could explode or your lights could you know whatever the power could go out you can blow a fuse etc etc and so you never really get that that time alone when you are literally the only person who is taking care of the family so it it does a really good job of of dealing with that and and showing the uh, slow progression of madness, if you will, of, of the mother and uh, to a certain extent the child um, who is also not sleeping because you know what he he's he's into the the evils of the world. He's into monsters and he and he's afraid. Um, so he has a tendency to not sleep, which of course then creates a problem on the mom because she has to deal with that and she can't sleep. So yeah, The Babadook is an interesting film. I do think that if you are into the, you like the scary films, you like that, that, um, if you like the the films where you know it's supposed to make you jump i don't know that the babadook is quite your thing it does have a couple of jump scares in it but it's mostly about like i said the drama the atmosphere the relationship of the mother and the son and uh, if that sounds like something that you're into i do definitely say see the babadook but unfortunately if you're in you're looking for a scary movie I myself was not at any point scared. I think there was one jump scare in the film that seemed to manage to get any real response from the audience. Um, but clearly, there there was something from um, several, you know, multiple people in the audience because a lot of the people I talked to afterwards um, were genuinely. You know, you know, a little freaked out. So, do I recommend the Babadook? Yes, yes, I do recommend the Babadook. Well, like I said, it is great acting. It is a fantastic little story, and the art design on the on the books and such is amazing. Do I think it's a scary movie? Not for me personally, but from experience from everybody else, yes. So take that as you will. You've heard what I've had to say about The Babadook. If you're looking for a scary movie, maybe that's the one you want to check out. Unfortunately, in Canada, I've been informed it's not going to hit theater. So if there's a festival in your area playing The Babadook, go see it there. Um, otherwise, you're going to be stuck with uh, VOD, DVD, and Blu-ray, or if you're lucky. Who knows? I don't know what it's going to get released as. I just know that it's not going theatrical. As far as now is concerned. So, anyways guys, 
I, I really need to get some sleep, so I will uh, call this video over, and uh, yeah, I believe I do need to see uh, uh, at least one or two more movies for to complete my 31 days of horror, so I'll have to do the count when all is said and done, <laughs> but until then, take care, have a good one.